Hey guys, so what I want to do today is I want to talk about cannabis and pain and specifically which cannabinoid you should be using to help treat your pain. You know, a lot of people get confused and not sure if they should be using CBD, THC, or maybe a combination of both. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over that. So let's first start with CBD. So CBD, as we know, is the non-intoxicating cannabinoid, right? It doesn't get you high. So what is CBD good for? CBD is really good for reducing inflammation. So say if you have arthritis or you have some type of repetitive injury, like you work in a factory or something like that, you know, using CBD can really help treat those injuries because it's going to reduce that inflammation. And because you get that reduction in inflammation, you're going to get a reduction in pain. So again, you know, CBD is great for things like arthritis, you know, anything where there's a lot of inflammation going on. And just as a side note, anything with itis in it always indicates inflammation. So arthritis is going to uh, generate a lot of inflammation. So let's talk about the other cannabinoid that's really good for pain though. So what about THC? Is that good for pain? And we know that it is. Uh, but it's better for neuropathic pain, right? So it's better for things like sciatica, numbness, tingling, that type of pain. So that's where THC uh, produces its best effect is patients with neuropathic pain. And the way that it does this is that it has a dissociative effect, as we know. So why is this dissociative effect important? Well, it's important because it's blocking a signal that's telling your brain that you're in pain. So say if you have knee pain, you know, the pain really isn't coming from your knee. The pain is coming from your brain because what's happening is you're getting, um, you know, some signals in your, in your, in your knee that's just being traveled up to your brain that's telling you that you're in pain. And THC can actually block those signals. So that's why THC can be so effective for neuropathic pain. Now, say if you have arthritis and you have sciatica, well, in that case, you know, using both cannabinoids is going to be more effective because you're going to get the pain relief from the arthritis and the inflammation with the CBD and you get pain relief and, and your neuropathic pain from the THC. So that's the best way to use cannabis to help treat pain. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, I'll be back again soon.